This has been definitely the most amount of toxic waste that's gotten out of my body for sure in any period of time with any colon cleanse. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Dr. Tobias Colon Cleanse. Now, colon cleanse products have been something I've taken for years, maybe about 10 years. And for me, I like to take them as needed. I almost never do like a full cleanse, but like if I need a little bit of help, I'll take one capsule. If I need a lot of help, I'll take two. My favorite colon cleanse right now is InnoCleanse. It's extremely expensive. I totally understand you, but I, I have these ongoing stomach issues. InnoCleanse has been the best thing for me for getting the most out of me with the least amount of pain. I've just been blown away by it. I've even said on my channel, like I'm used to getting about three times my normal bowel movements when I was taking in cleanse. So a lot of times with these colon cleanses, there's just a lot of pain. It'll turn your stomach into liquid, which I'm not a big fan of. So I did try it like a year or two ago and I don't remember anything special with it. I used it like a normal colon cleanse and I remember it was okay, but it was just a little expensive, but Seeing as how my colon cleanse reviews are doing very well on YouTube, I was like, it makes sense to try out another brand, make another review. And I think this is the highest reviewed or most reviewed colon cleanse on Amazon. One thing that I do like is that it has a, a high dose of Senna and a high dose of Cascara Sagrada Bark, which I'm pretty sure is just buckthorn. I'll put that on screen to make sure. So buckthorn is an interesting compound because I think it's really effective. I think it works really good with Senna, but like a while ago, maybe 10 years ago, like the FDA came out and said, it doesn't do anything for constipation and you can't label it for constipation. It just does nothing. But for me, I always noticed that buckthorn worked. So I always want it in my blend. So I'm happy to see a very high competing dose with Senna. I think that they're very good used synergistically so you don't have any side effects taking too much of either one. This stuff is actually pretty painful. I'm not going to lie. Thankfully, the pain is usually signaling a, a large bathroom trip. So if you're getting a lot of pain, for me, what I'd recommend is start chugging water, um, possibly some electrolytes. Electrolytes for me relax me and get things going a little bit smoother. But again, after you have that evacuation, you don't just have lingering pain. There was one time where I took like half a bar of like Senna laxatives and it was like, I don't know, 12 servings on the bar and my stomach hurt for like six hours. Uh, nothing more was going on in the toilet, but I just was in pain. It was one of the worst experiences ever. So we didn't have any of that with this product, which I really appreciated, but I also have to let you guys know where I was at personally when I first started taking this. So like a week or two ago, I started breaking out with these cysts on my body and I have a really big suspicion that I had parasites in my stomach and the parasites when they overgrow, when they kind of just grow too much and take over your body, it messes with your immune system and they're able to just put these um, cysts all over your body. It was terrible. I probably got like seven or eight really good sized cysts and you know, immediately my go-to is something called grape seed extract. I've made a video on it, but that grape seed extract really lowers the size of a big cyst for me, if not eliminates it 100%. So I went really hard on the grape seed extract, but I also have another theory that the grape seed extract is antimicrobial. So I think the grape seed extract is partly killing some of the parasites in my stomach. And because the parasites are getting killed, it's like destroying the cysts and stuff on my body. So I took this one night, I woke up, you know, pretty decent bowel movement, a decent amount of pain. And then one night, um, I ended up really bloated. Like, I don't know what it was. Like, I couldn't really eat all day. I ended up eating a huge, gigantic um, Mexican meal and it was super, super spicy. I got this urge to just throw up just because I was so bloated, but I couldn't because of the Mexican food. So I was just like, oh man, this is terrible. So I decided to take two of these and then one of my other colon cleanse, which is super, super generic. And I was just trying to get things going. I was unfamiliar with how this product worked. But the day after I had the most bowel movements that I've ever had that I can possibly remember, like I'm talking about seven to eight full size bowel movements in one day, which again, for me is just unheard of. My bowel kind of gets a little bit scared. I don't know why when it gets later in the day and just doesn't want to go. Like if I do go, it'll be like, 
once, maybe twice in a row, but they're, they're really close and that's it. And I gotta say, it felt so, so good getting all this out of my body. Later on in the day, I started to investigate what was coming out of me and it was just absolutely disgusting. I don't know if it was like parasites or if it was like some sort of mucus, I have no idea, but it did not look like liquid and it did not look like what it should normally look like. It looked like a mix. So I just couldn't believe how much I had in my body. And again, like I only looked maybe half the time. So the times that I did, I'm like, oh my gosh, that was in my body. You guys wouldn't believe how much good stuff I take, how much different colon cleanses I take. And, you know, sometimes I go hard on the colon cleanse, sometimes I relax, but of all the times, this has been definitely the most amount of toxic waste that's gotten out of my body for sure in any period of time with any colon cleanse. So I don't really know how much it has to do with this product. Um, you know, maybe it's just a typical stimulant laxative and I killed a bunch of stuff with that grapeseed extract. I don't know, maybe it was all ready to go. Like I did take a straight up parasite cleanse like a month or two ago. So maybe they were all in there, I have no idea. But what's weird is a lot of people were saying very similar things that it smelled really awkward, really bad and it looked very just mucusy and different. So this has been the strongest colon cleanse that I've ever tried. Just be very wary. And I mean, it's no joke when I say to take the entire next day off, you know what I mean? This thing hit me once at 10 at night. Um, the day that I had seven or eight bowel movements that hit me all the way to like six or seven at night. And it started like five, six in the morning, you know what I mean? So. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this product. My favorite overall product is Inno Cleanse, but it is very expensive. This product is a more typical cleanse where you'd wanna probably take a very noticeable amount, you know, get the cleanse portion out once the cleansing is done, then kind of move on to something else versus something like Inno Cleanse is something that I could kind of keep around and take as needed. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Dr. Tobias Colon Cleanse. Let me know what your favorite colon cleanse products are. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.